O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 34, verses 1 through 8. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. As they were going along the road, someone said to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord. Well, let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Here ends the reading. Our reflection today on Ignatius of Loyola comes from Lesser Feasts and Fasts 2022. Ignatius was born into a noble Basque family in 1491. In his autobiography, he tells us that until the age of 26, he was a man given over to the vanities of the world and took special delight in the exercise of arms with a great and vain desire of winning glory. An act of reckless heroism at the Battle of Pamplona in 1521 led to his being seriously wounded. During his convalescence at Loyola, Ignatius experienced a profound spiritual awakening. Following his recovery in an arduous period of retreat, a call to be Christ's knight in the service of God's kingdom was deepened and confirmed. Ignatius began to share the fruits of his experience with others, making use of a notebook which eventually became the text of the spiritual exercises. Since his time, many have found the exercises to be a way of encountering Christ as intimate companion and responding to Christ's call, whoever wishes to come with me must labor with me. The fact that Ignatius was an unschooled layman made him suspect in the eyes of church authorities and led him, at the age of 37, to study theology at the University of Paris in preparation for the priesthood. While there, Ignatius gave the exercises to several of his fellow students, and in 1534, he and six companions took vows to live lives of strict poverty, and to serve the needs of the poor. Thus what later, later came to be known as the Society of Jesus was born. In 1540, the Society was formally recognized, and Ignatius became its first superior general. According to his journals and many of his letters, a profound sense of 
sharing God's work in union with Christ, may the season of intense activity which followed a time of great blessing and consolation. Ignatius died on July 31st, 1556. In the simple room, which served both as his bedroom and chapel, having sought God in all things, and having tried to do all things for God's greater glory. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who called Ignatius of Loyola to the service of your divine majesty and to seek you in all things. Give us also the grace to labor without counting the cost and to seek no reward other than knowing that we do your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.